Hello, Sue. I truly hope you don't mind my messaging you. It's just, I have lots of questions to ask about the goings-on down there, and I fear that they'd upset my mum. I just assume she not know much about what's going on anyway. The whole situation has me pretty stressed out, it does. We just heard that the USNA has declared martial law in the major cities. I heard that Toronto has the biggest problem, seeing as they're so close to the cable cars. I just don't know, Sue. So it seems pretty bad. Have you heard anything new on the net? There have always been those in the British government who were sympathetic to the Robespierre folks. I doubt that there'd be much plain talk from the government, but it never hurts to ask. Have you been to see Mum recently? I understand that she's taken a liking to Mr. Herbert after all. Seems he's a bit of a writer. She tells me he reads bits and pieces of his stories to her. Uh... <laughs> the surest way to Mum's heart is through stories. I, I, I think she was always disappointed that I didn't inherit that from her. I like stories just fine, just not reading them. It wasn't until I was older that we realized I had this ADHD thing. That explained a lot. <laughs> I'll never, I'll never forget Mum logging me into the library and and urging me to print out some books. I did it just to make her feel better, but she was furious when she learned I'd been tearing up the pages to make models. <laughs> we were, we were really poor back then, and so we had to recycle the pages before the library would accredit our account and allow us to print out more books. She'd been on about some ancient author. Uh, Tolkien, I think. I, he, he had made a series of books and she couldn't get the next one because of me. <laughs> she was furious. I don't... I don't, I don't think she forgave me and, until I was diagnosed. Then she felt really terrible for forcing books down my throat. Since then, I haven't really been able to get through anything more than a technical manual. For some reason, I take to those. Go figure. I imagine it's the diagrams that do it for me. Anyway, I wanted to let you know that the terrorists aren't the only ones with a trick or two up their sleeves. The UK and USNA militaries don't want you civvies to know about it, but we've developed some pretty mighty powerful weaponry too. I can't tell you more than that, but I'm involved with the project and I think the terrorists would have to go a long way to come up with a proper defense against these weapons. I realize that's not going to keep anyone from being scared, myself included. But, but maybe, I, I hope, it'll make you feel a little bit better. I suppose I should try and get some sleep. It's getting harder and harder for me up here. Well, at least the air scrubbers are back online. Didn't I? Didn't I tell you about that? Well, we seems we, we had a bit of a problem with one of the canisters, but it's all fixed. No worries. Thanks for taking care of Mum. I hope I'll be able to repay the favor once I return. You take care soon. I'll talk to you soon.